About a month ago, Johnny Boy put out a video highlighting a 13-year-old player in NA who's been making quite a name for himself. He goes by Scribbles. Now, I will say the gameplay Johnny Boy chose didn't really show off what Scribbles is really capable of. So I asked him to run some rank 2s in the new season and see how the two of us play together. Also, let me know who else you'd like me to play with in the future. But now let's get into the games. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, game number one, we got Coconut and Chief Beef together. Let's see how it goes. Scribbles is insane, so I feel like it should go pretty well. To be okay, should go to right to scribbles, even though Chiefy's chasing this. To be okay. I'm gonna wait. We're gonna catch it. Nice flick. Coconut will go maybe to the backboard or try to do some sort of double flip reset. I like that. Off the corner shot, maybe. Close. Should be space for scribble to just run on this. Try bump one as well. Over one and backboard double. Oh, close. It's be a little awkward for me to make a good shot there, so I'm just gonna chip it and keep it close. Over one. Stay close here once again. I got the, the, the challenge, but apparently not. Should be scribbles again here. Yeah, he doesn't need to do anything too crazy. Just a demo play. Uh, he was trying to keep that very close, and the demo was a good uh, idea there because GP's last for quite quite a long time because Coconut overcommitted. Any 1v1 player play there is good. Off the wall here. I got to stay with the ball. That's fine. I, li I like that he touched that. Off the corner. I like that uh, that touch because it, it gives me the opportunity to get the corner boost. And now Scribbles can go for the uh, mid play. Get forward from Chief Beef. We cut once again. Probably going to be challenged here. I'm going to try and go high on it. Then go for the corner. Wait for Scribbles to challenge this. Nice play and nice finish. So I wanted to keep that close and controlled. I didn't really get the touch out exactly I wanted. I wanted to keep that closer to me, but uh, I knew that I had like some sort of 1v1 play and with Scribbles going for the demo, gives me a great oppor opportunity to go for the open net. Instead of going for like a backboard double touch or something, which is very low, you know, l low chance, high risk. That's such a bad aerial. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna back off. I'm pretty uh, under the weather. Uh, so I've been like not playing the game that much. I've been trying to rest and I feel like I'm playing absolutely horrible, but That's why we got the 13 uh, year old prodigy on our team it's Nice touch probably a double here and triple quadruple five touches nice play We actually went early should be okay though. I'll wait for on the wall here for him Get that close I'll the touch coconut wanted I think yeah, it's totally fine. I'm gonna cut this early because Chief is just gonna go here. Should just be fast enough. Nice. Thank you, thank you. Be a lot of time there. I knew that I could beat Chief if, uh, if I chase that in the corner. It's a little bit of an awkward play, but it definitely, uh, you know, if they're no you, you know they're like hungry for goals, so you're just going for like some sort of play that can keep them in a awkward position. Close. Let me clear here. I'm gonna fake the ball and just make him throw the ball away. Not really a good shootable angle for them, so I'm just keeping the ball close. Avoid the bombs here too. Good 50. Should be him again. That up to myself. Stay with it here. I try to chip it around me, which is totally fine. Ooh, never mind. It's not. <laughs> good try. No, no, it's no problem. I shouldn't have uh, given him an opening there. I could have went around the ball a little more instead of touching the ball again. That way he couldn't chip it behind me. All right, decent kickoff. Pinch towards the net. Should give him time to go back corner, and I'm just gonna grab both mids here. Oh, I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna fake this. Oh, just be able to dust them off to the sidewall. Maybe a shot here. Beautiful finish. Yeah, we had the time uh, to get that beat there, and then it just bounced off the wall perfectly for scribbles in mid. And there's no way Cheap Beef could react in time. Stuck in net there. Let's move on to the next game. That was uh, very clean. I've been getting sick a lot, actually, with a lot of the traveling, so... Need to just get healthy again. Been drinking a lot of uh, orange juice and taking vitamins and whatever. Lots of water. And Vix. Vix is my savior. I'm gonna go under him here and then over. Should be a shot, maybe? Not the touch exactly. I wonder if there's actually space 
more space than we thought in mid there. I don't think Scribbles thought that he's going to be able to stay with that ball. I'm going to stay. Just fake this, actually. Ooh. There's still ha uh, possession here. We've had possession this entire game. That might be the, the first loss of possession here, but I don't think they have a good opportunity. Yeah. Should have forced Coconut to throw this back into mid. Sounds like Scribbles is it up. But I don't want to follow that because he can already follow it himself. Let's see what Coconut does here. That's fine. I think I'm just baiting in touches. I'm going to go back corner here and just get full. Forward back to me. Oh, good try. Chip around. Give me a shot. Yeah, I think Coconut left the ball there when he thought GP was a little closer. But uh, I just stayed... Stay closer to the ball than uh, Chief Beef did, so I can just chip it around him. Go for this. Try to put that behind Coconut, so he has to do an awkward turn. This should give us possession once again. It's a bunch of clears that come back to us in mid. Over one. I had shot that so poorly. Looks like Scribbles has the boost, though, and I got bumped back in, so. Nice bump. Probably a cut here, yeah. Don't want Coconut to have any boosts. It's totally fine. Don't need to worry about that. Just need to be in the way of anything that pinches straight at the net super fast. Just gonna wait. You can even take that back if he wants. There's so much time, yeah. Let's grab the other boost too. See if I can get Co uh, Cheap Beef on his way out. Maybe a boom play or. Solo play here. Nice. I'm going to go up early. I don't think Coconut's going to expect that. Instant chimp from... Uh, ch chimp. Instant chip from uh, Scribbles. Maybe mid here. He goes over. I kind of went a little bit faster than that. I just really didn't think they were going to give me the space. that they are going to go up earlier. Woo! Should be back for Scribbles. These two are definitely playing a lot more aggressive this game. I'm trying to pick up the pace, I think. Nice 50. I do bump Chief Beef as well. It's a little bit nasty, but uh, I had a 1v1 opportunity, so I just went for it with the air dribble. I don't usually like going for those because they're kind of cheap, but I mean, they're not cheap. They're they're good shots still. All right, back right probably. And you can take it back here. Good setup. And a pinch in the net. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. Beautifully done. Very smart to draw him in. And it never no, wasn't necessarily going to be a goal, but it's still a good play into the corner. So we got Process and Diaz. They're solo queue. Both very good uh, twos players, obviously. Good to put it in the corner. Scribbles will probably get the back corner boost first. Nice setup. It's going to be Diaz, though. Good try. Put up early here. Let's get in the way. Gonna pass it back. Bumped him off. Should be a touch from Scribbles in the corner here. Kind of expected the uh, early challenge. It's very common in that spot. Three space for scribbles. Nice flick. He does bump me off. I'm stuck with him too. Good challenge from scribbles once again. If he grabs his mid boost, probably would be better. They're so low. As long as we keep on the boost. I'm going to go up early here for him. It's just a touch to for something. Tried to bump him, but it looks like he has a double here. And a triple. If I got the bump there, it would have been a goal, most likely. The demo. Close. Diaz is awkward. Hopefully, uh, Scribbles can grab that boost. He actually backs off. Okay. 
both of them backwards? Nice. Let's go. They didn't put the uh, the double off the backboard. My touch wasn't the greatest. I was trying to get a better setup to get a chip towards the net, but a back, a back pass into, into mid there is actually just as good. Might just be in. I don't think uh, he expected me to shoot the way I did. Wait for Scribbles to go for another touch here. What the? I'm missing. I'm backing off here, see if he can get in the way. Oh, that's close. No, it's no problem. I think he could have went a little bit earlier is why he's saying my fault. I think uh, he could have challenged while I was getting behind him, but we end up being put in the same spot because he didn't challenge in time. So gotta make sure you challenge for your teammate uh, who's pushing behind there. I do get beat. It's a pretty bad beat as well, actually. Nice, I'm gonna try and bump across this back. He noticed, he knew that I was back there. So he's trying to uh, play off the touch. Or the bump. Nice. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This is and this is a really weird thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you guys something. Has any have any of you guys ever experienced like extreme deja vu? Like I feel like I've played these games before. That's how bad the deja vu is right now. And I've been playing Rocket League all day today, and I really feel like I've been playing th these same games. Like I feel this, and it's obviously for like. For these lobbies, we see the same players all the time, but I seriously like feel like I know the results and I feel like I can't control the game. It's just like it's just like it's just going to happen. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe that's like the medicine talking and, and like me being ill, but I feel like I've seen everything here before. <laughs> like when I say the things I'm saying, I'm like, yeah, I said that last time. It's so weird. Anyway, back in the game. Uh, yeah, it's really really weird also I feel like I added scribbles before and now I just added them today I don't know there's so much weird stuff I get scored on here I'm gonna go back bump each other what in the world is happening nice shot let's go like I kind of knew that was happening anyway that that's besides the point let's, let's move on I feel like I've I've unlocked like my third eye or something let's stay backboard here down to him. Stay close here. I uh, didn't get my flip reset there. Really thought I got it though. Oh, they fake it. This move should be here in a second, right? Try to bump uh, process. I kind of messed up those. Probably a goal. Yeah. That's my bad. I should have uh, definitely just backed off instead of no, no, no. That's my fat. That's my bald. My bald. <laughs> I was gonna say fault. My fault. My bad. I said my bald. That's that's a new one. Oh, I couldn't get the angle. I, I didn't have to set up on the double. I actually feel like I had the flip for way longer. Woo! And there we go. Not too bad, not too bad. That's 3-0, and I think, right? I can't remember the number of games we've played. I think it is, though. Let's keep it going. Oh, Diaz was SSL. Man, it's climbing. He was 23rd on the leaderboard. Snap. Top 100 is 1974 right now. I believe I'm sitting at... Let me see. How do I see my MMR? There we go. So we 1976. I, don't, I mean, 1765. <laughs> what am I talking about? I just, like, totally, like, dyslexia real quick there. I'm trying to bump flits off the ball and then take the boost. We lost the space for him. I'm gonna try to bump him again. Hopefully that's not in our net. I don't think it is. Ugh. Nice. We got the goal too. That bounce was so scuffed. I'm not sure how it rolled out like that. Yeah, he totally did not read that at all. We'll take it though. Okay, I'm going back here. That's off target. We might score it. Ooh. That was crazy. Hope he goes opposite corner. I'll just try to like bait him into a flip here. Nice, good pinch from uh, Scribbles. This boost isn't there, so we gotta go back. Nice challenge for me. He's gonna be flits on the sidewall here. Maybe he just backs it off. And we get the goal too. Nice, thank you. Yeah, the fake into the air dribble into the, the bottom uh, pinch is like really good because 
No one really expects it, and they all go high off the backboard when they when that happens. Pop it up nice and high. I don't think Flitz can go for this. He's gonna try maybe cut. Then it's a free ball for Scribbles. We're just playing possession, like super possession heavy. Over Diaz, right back to me. I hit that bottom left. That was so poor, but off the backboard. Give me a shot. Beautiful finish. Just good possession. Keeping that ball close. Is that in? Oh, let's go. Perfect. I love those like perfect skims. They're super, uh, super clean. It obviously wasn't top crossbar or anything, but nothing fancy. Just got to shoot on target. If this is back there, they're both on the same boost. So one of them has no boost. I'm dead. This might be an open net. Yeah, it is. Obviously not the best from 50-50 from Scribbles, but I could have reacted a little better to that and not get demoed, I think. I did not expect that 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 turn on the boost. Might have given Diaz a free ball here. Got a boost pad. I think we're both pretty low. Might be open. I don't think he can get there. We're both, we're both very low. Probably can grab boost. If your flits here, if he scores this, he can have it. Ooh, that might be a goal too. Wow. Yeah. You know what? It goes back to the whole deja vu thing. Uh, I feel like I knew that was going to happen and I should have backed off <laughs> and yet I didn't. I was, uh, it's so weird. I've been trying to snap out of it for the last like three days. Actually partially why I like, why I haven't been playing very much Rocket League. Cause every time I do, I just get like really tripped out. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but I feel like all the Rocket League games I've been playing are just, they feel like I've, I've played them before. I don't want to talk about that one. Let's move on. But yeah, let me know if you guys have experienced anything similar. Like, I'm not talking just Rocket League. I'm talking about like just anything like happening. Like, I feel like I just know what's going on before it even happens. I got demoed here. Oh gosh. It's close. Mid boost should be here for him. I got bumped. Nice save. Oh. He got bumped again. What's going on? I'd just be open. Did I get it? I did get it. I was, getting, I was getting bumped like three times on my way back. I just got a touch that was awkward around Diaz. He didn't expect it. I'm dead again. I've died like so many times. And it's a goal. All right. I'm going to cheat up a little bit. Let's see what happens. Also, yeah, if you guys have experienced this, like, let me know how you've gotten out of it, too. It's like, I'd really like to not feel this way. <laughs> it's been pretty bad. Uh, it's probably gonna touch here. I'll go up the backboard. Danny, you can decide whether or not you want to keep that in. I'm trolling. Oof. Okay, 42 seconds. Okay, we got a, got a nice touch in the corner. Really good demo from Scribbles. Should be space here. It does get the boost in the back corner, though. So Diaz is full. Get pop over one. I'm going to stay really close to this so he can't control it. Pop him a little bit too. Oh, this is bad. Nice save. I can't quite score, but I think this should be enough time. Might go up the backboard. So he's going to have a, a touch here. I'm just going to chip it into the back. And that should be it. Nice. Yeah, he only had, only had one option there is to chip it across. And so I just blocked that on the other side. And uh, it booms into the, into the floor. All right. This is probably going to be the last game. We got Wavy and Taroko. Let's see how it goes. Got a boost stolen here. I'm going to go back. You can take the back corner. No, it's not. It's not his fault. Uh, I could have uh, could have definitely uh, left the boost earlier and not driven towards it. Put us in a weird spot. I might shoot this too. Okay. Should be a good chance for Scribbles here. Nice, good finish. Really good pass off the backboard there. Lots of uh, lots of space. Gonna go for a slight cheat. Grab one boost pad. 
Oh, I missed the ball. No. No, that was so awkward. And for some reason, once again, I felt like I knew that was happening. I tried to, like, fake the ball. I shouldn't have even jumped in the first place. Because I just waited. I just didn't think Troco would not dive at that immediately. Where's this boost at? Oh, boy. Nice save. I thought that boost would be there, but apparently not. Oh, might be open. Nice. Really well played in the corner there. Really good choice. Also, the way, the way that Wavy left the ball off the backboard, he knew there was nobody going to challenge him, so he just let the ball bounce on the backboard for a free uh, return on the field. Using the backboard to your advantage on, like, uh, start speeding up the play is really, really important. Like, you don't need to touch the ball if, you don't, if it's, you know, already going to be there. I should not have went for that. I think it's off target. It is. Nice. Nice. I missed. No. Sorry. Take this back. I hope Scribbles has that boost. He does. My goodness, what a dunk. The pre-jumps are crazy. Lots of space for Scribbles, though. They're in a weird spot. I don't think he's got very much boost. That could have been bad. Torko's definitely going to be blocking that in mid. Oh, and I just bumped my teammate. No. That's so unlucky. Okay. Wait, touching in mid? That's totally fine. I think Scribbles has this for free now. Of course, unless they just ball chase it again. I'm going to start to play a little faster. I'm going to start controlling the play. Should be good for us. Nice. Let's go. I knew that one side. I think it was Wavy here went for the chip or something. Or the ball went off of the, the wall. I could go for a demo on, on Taroko and just force him. Oh, boy. My bad. Kind of messed up my kickoff off the controller. I, I, I kind of like skipped my thumb over the, the analog stick. Um, but I knew that I could just go for the bump play and slow them down a little bit. Hopefully I cut that close enough. I did not. No way he dunks me there. What? I went off the backboard too. Like I tried to like keep it chipped off the backboard. He still dunks me. Okay, we got two minutes. Or a minute and a half. Two goals. That's one. Alright, there we go. As both of them, they're kind of panicking, actually. Interesting play. I just got the boost, actually. I know Wavy doesn't have much. So I missed him. Bumping him again. Keep bumping him here. What is that touch? Oh my goodness. Decent block. It's going to be Troco here. I'm just going to try and bump uh, Wavy off so it's a 1v1. It's a good chip from Wavy. Still 35 seconds though. Good block. i going to go back. See if we can pre-jump him. Good challenge. Nice block. Oh, I thought he was going to go for that. I was trying to move forward for that touch. Good blo uh, good uh, patience by Wavy. This might be a, our last push here. Might be awkward. Maybe Scribbles can go for this after this touch. It's a bit tough, though. Oh, he's actually up. Man, I just didn't expect them to go for, like, such aggressive uh, touches for, like, no, like, Particularly, like, no reason because, I mean, he definitely beats me because it, it's a weird, like, mindset. Like, his touch does nothing, and Scribbles could definitely be there for his free touch. Uh, but, yeah, it just doesn't work out. But I hope you guys enjoyed either way. That was a pretty good set of games. Um, definitely a good climb as well. Uh, awkward game at the end there. They had 15 shots. They were very, like I said, very, very aggressive. Just, like, going for things that you just don't quite expect. Like, right there, that chip and stuff. Just, uh, you know, it's a high risk, high reward. I respect it. Anyway, until next time, have a great day, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.